The Amistad by Evan Kinseth. In January 1839, hundreds of free Africans were captured in Midland, Africa. The Totora was bound for Havana. Once in Havana, 49 men and four children were bought and sent to another part of Cuba. The slave ship was owned by Don Jose Rudez and Pedro Montes. The boat was the Amistad. The word Amistad means friendship. Three days into the sail, the slaves revolted. 25-year-old Sinbi Pena, later known as Jose Kinich, led the revolt. He freed himself and some companions. They killed the captain and the cook. Two other men jumped overboard. They were never found. Once the slaves took over the ship, they made the Spanish teach them how to sail the boat. Also, because the stars were different, they did not know how to navigate. The Spanish also taught them how to do that. Now, the free blacks sailed for Africa. But in the night, the Spanish would sail for America, where they thought they could sell the slaves. So the boat went back and forth and back and forth. They were at sea for over two months. The boat was seized by the Federal Survey Brig, the USS Washington, at Montauk Point, Long Island, New York. The boat was then brought to New Haven Harbor, where there is a replica today. But the boat was not met with friendship like the name of the boat suggests. The blacks who revolted were charged with murder, piracy, and salvage and property. They were sent to the New Haven jail. Today, there is a memorial there for them. The judge in New London sent the case to Hartford. In Hartford, abolitions made the Amistad Committee to help the defendants win the case. After three days in the court in Hartford, Kate was moved to the district court in Hartford. The district court on January 13, 1840, Judge Johnson ruled that the U.S. had no jurisdiction on the crimes because they happened on water and with no U.S. citizens involved. He said they were born free and ordered them delivered to President Martin Van Buren for transportation back to Africa. Not only that, but slave trade was illegal in Spain. Even so, Spain wanted the slaves turned over to themselves. Because the ruling said they were free, President Martin Van Buren appealed the case and sent it to the Supreme Court, for he wanted the slaves sent to Spain. The case was called United States versus the Amistad. Once the Amistad Committee found out they were going to the Supreme Court, they asked President John Quincy Adams for help. John replied by saying, By the blessing of God, I will argue the case before the Supreme Court. On February 24, 1840, John Quincy Adams started to defend the Amistad. He told the Amistad survivors, God willing, I will make you free. On March 9th, the next year, the final verdict was read. Judge Story said, Kidnapped Africans, who by the laws of Spain itself, were entitled to their freedom. At the time of the ruling, only 35 were still alive. The others died at sea or in jail. John Quincy Adams said in a letter to Roger Sh Sherman Baldwin, The decision of the Supreme Court in the case of the Amistad has this moment been delivered by Judge Story. The captives are free. Yours in great haste and great joy. The Africans were free to go home and with 35 of them and five missionaries went to Sierra Laura, a British colony, and the colony later gained independence from England. Music by John Williams.